Why do you think the likes of Google, Facebook, Amazon, and Apple aren't championing the blockchain and its technologies? Well, the first thing is that that's not what the technology wants. You know, one of our, our uh, the people that we're fans of, Tommy, uh, Kevin Kelly, the great Kevin Kelly, uh, he wrote a book called What Technology Wants. Certain technologies want different things. The infrastructure of the blockchain and blockchain-based technology is it's distributed in nature. The internet that we ended up with is really centralized and blockchain doesn't want that. Even the idea that you would end up with a marketplace for NFTs that is controlled by OpenSea or Rarible. That's not even what NFTs want. NFTs want to be like a language where no one owns or controls it. It's just a protocol, like a language, the language we're speaking now, English, is a protocol with certain rules and barriers, but no one owns it or controls it. It just floats in the ether. That's the way That's the way blockchain technology want to work. Like my, my device can be connected to that distributed network. It's a distributed network where no one owns or controls it. And that's the whole benefit of the system. And so that's why the big four don't want this because we could have a social media, for example, to go up against Zuckerberg and, and his uh, monopoly, where we have uh, an open protocol uh, social media that can go on all phones and, and what have you. And instead of having profit and advertising, a small amount of gas, which is what they call uh, cryptocurrency used to maintain the system, a small amount of gas could be used yep. uh, by each user each month could be a dollar a month, something even smaller, to have a hub of uh, of developers who maintain the system. So we could have an open source social media the world over that everyone can connect into all the things you can do on any Facebook channel without the need for Facebook. That's where it's going. That's where I want it to go. And so it's not in Zuckerberg's interest to do that. It's certainly not. Uh, we could have a search engine, which is based on a blockchain, which has its own AI, which is powered powered by the blockchain, and we all put in a small amount of money that funds that, and it's an independent, proper uh, search engine. We could do the same with the platform for e-commerce, where we don't need uh, a, a party in the middle. So this technology wants to decentralize, and often they call it Web 3.0. Web 1.0 was when we all got on the web. Web 2.0 was the social web and the interaction and platforms. And they call this 3.0, where it's decentralization. Now, the only area we have seen big tech really go hard into this, I mean, they've all got blockchain areas, but I think the reason we haven't seen it bubble up is they haven't found a way to make it work that actually suits their business model. So it, just like they disrupted the media organizations before them, no, no company is infallible because technology is like water. It wants to find the leak in the current system. And so the only area we've seen them dabble has been in the currency element. So you've seen Facebook with their Libra consortium, which is crumbling around us. And and I would outlaw it if I was, you know, if I was the Prime Minister of Australia or America, because it's not in anyone's national interest to have a private company own or control a currency. Uh, also, Amazon uh, are doing it in South America, where they've got their own currency, where you can buy within that. And Amazon's the company who could get away with it because you could buy and sell a lot of things. They could even pay their staff in in Amazon dollars and then they could keep their money inside Amazon and buy all their groceries and things from Amazon and, and so on. So it's not in their interest. The only area they've really played hardcore so far has been the currency, but the blockchain wants the opposite of what their business models want, which is centralization. And that's why I believe that they're not doing well in it. And I know that most people who are heavily into this technology, again, they're anti big tech as much as I am. And so what advice would you give people as far as how can they start exploiting this technology? I would tell people really understand smart contracts. It's actually not that hard. It's about setting up computers to do things on your behalf without the need of third parties, whether they be big social media organizations or lawyers or brokers, mortgage brokers or any of that. I would just go into understanding what the blockchain is and what smart contracts are, because that's what it is heading to, where we can trade anything physically and digitally and have the token, meaning you have rights and access to things. And it's as simple as watching YouTube videos, how blockchain affects my industry. I mean, we even said that in the rebound, didn't we, Tommy, on the blockchain and Bitcoin crypto episode. So it's my industry and the blockchain. Just type that into 
yeah. YouTube and watch some videos on it. How smart contracts will change industry X. If you get your head around that, you don't need to worry about the technology and the usability. Someone else will solve that problem. What listeners need to get their head around is what happens beyond the NFT bubble. And it is a bubble and it'll pop. But it's imagine the NFT bubble to be a big balloon with quite a few seeds in it. It's blowing up, it's getting expanding, expanding. You actually want it to pop because then the seeds can fall on the ground and germinate. Yeah. Right? And that's where smart contracts will come from. But just watch the YouTube videos on smart contracts and blockchain for your industry. You do that 10 minutes a day, at the end of the month, you're in the top 1% of the world in knowledge in your industry. How good is that? Steve Sammartino. Dot com. Subscribe to his Friday newsletter. It's the best way to start your, the end of the week. Sam, always a pleasure, brother. Mate, I love it, Tommy. Honoured. Speak to you soon, bro. And cut. <laughs>